Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome into the studio. If you are new here, I would so appreciate it if you would subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below or on the Anne Makes in the corner of the screen there. And when you see that bell show up, click on that and that way you know, you'll be notified by YouTube every time I post a new video, if you'd like. So today, what do I have to share with you on this nice sunny day? Well, I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I went to Dollar Tree uh, several days ago, actually, and uh, I've been very, very busy with the other videos in between, and uh, there's other stuff going on that's not so pleasant, but uh, yeah, so I've been busy. Anyway, so uh, let's get to see what I got at Dollar Tree. So there were some new items in the craft section that I will get to eventually if I can find them. Uh, first, what I have to share with you, it's going to seem silly, but I got this little bucket, square sand bucket. Uh, the handle is missing, so they only charged me 25 cents for it, which I thought was very nice of them, but they didn't have to do that. And I got this because, it, to me, it looks similar to a little castle. And I thought that this would be a good thing to alter. Enough said. I, 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 if, if I'm successful with this idea of mine, I will share it. I picked up some sunglasses to leave in my husband's car because I was driving my husband's car the other day and as you can see they came into the house with me so they're still not in my husband's car. So that means probably next time I take his car I'll probably stop by the dollar store and buy another pair of sunglasses. That's just me. That's just how I am. Okay. <clears throat> in the kids toy section I was so excited. I found a new Toy Story 4 figurines. Here we have Woody and we have Bo Peep. I know I have the other characters in the other bag. And so, oh, I have Rex. And of course, Buzz Lightyear. And the newest member, <laughs> of the Toy Story family, we have Forky. So there we go. I got these and uh, I know I'm a big child, but I have to say that Toy Story is a very meaningful movie to us. It was actually uh, our oldest son. I think it was his first movie and uh, we just loved Toy Story and we've loved Toy Story, all the Toy Story movies ever since. So. I had to, I haven't seen Toy Story 4 yet, so uh, but I saw the figurines and I had to grab them because come on, they're only that Dollar Tree you can't beat that. All right, uh, what else did I get at Dollar Tree? They had lots of the white poster board. Finally, I guess with the back to school, so I snagged some more up. I really like using this for crafting. I needed, I picked up a box of parchment paper because I got carried away with doing the Cricut Infusible Ink projects and I'll, I'll link that video uh, for you. And it does, they do recommend using butcher paper, but we don't have butcher paper here. I, I can't find butcher paper. So I was, I've been looking at all the different types of parchment paper that we have in Canada and I, I see a lot of U.S. counterparts saying, no, 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 parchment paper won't work. It's not the same thing. There's no wax coating on it. But we, I see, I, I'm pretty sure if I compare the, this, this parchment paper to the feel of the sheet that comes with the Cricut Infusible Ink Transfer Sheets, this is so, so similar, really. And... Actually, I find that the sheet that comes with the Cricut Infusible Ink Transfer Sheets, one side is like glossier than the other, and this really doesn't have that, so I don't know. Uh, comment down below if you are able to find butcher paper if you live in Canada. Maybe it's a regional thing. I don't know, 
but uh, I'm not able to find it, so this is what I'm using. Along with that, I also picked up a package of the multiplication flashcards. I just wanted to have some more flashcards on hand to use as ephemera. Uh, I can make these look vintagey, you know, by tea dyeing them, coffee dyeing them, inking them, and all sorts of things. So, got that. It's really cheap to make my own ephemera. A cheap way to make my own ephemera. I picked up these new little books that they had at my store. These cute little nursery rhyme books, aren't they sweet? These would make a lovely gift for, uh, you know, a child for sure, a new baby maybe. Uh, but I actually bought these to tear apart because I thought the images inside were just beautiful. I think the artwork is gorgeous. Especially love this one with the rooster. So uh, this would be cute for altering, making ephemera, other projects. I also got, oh, KD, that's for my boys. They like craft dinner, so I've got that for them. I needed some more super glue, so I got this pack of four little tubes. Uh, and <laughs> by the way, if you do use this glue and you think that it's not coming out of the tube, Pressing too hard is not a good idea. I actually glued my fingers together the other day because I did that. Don't ask. I don't know. But of course, I've got them unglued now, so I'm okay. I, I'm on the search for more of this design. I only found one more notebook. Um, I've seen other people in the U.S. haul, like pencil cases and these uh, plastic envelopes with this design on them. I'm not able to find them in my store, so maybe I, I, I'll never, I never will. I would really like to find all the other uh, office school supplies with the kitties on them, but so far, no luck. Uh, okay, what else did I get? Napkin. Boring. Oh, because I was having so much fun with the Cricut Infusible inking stuff, I picked up some more slippers so I can make some more uh, projects. I thought that was a lot of fun. Oh, and by the way, uh, when you if you do try to do the slippers like I did, uh, I one thing I don't say in the video is that my first pair melted because I didn't cover up this part here. So it's important that if you're going to press with 400 degrees of heat that you cut off this tag and that you make sure that the other parts of the slipper are protected. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Yeah, I do know what happened. I actually melted a whole slipper. So. Learn the hard way. Anywho, uh, I picked up some of these metal decorations. I thought they were really pretty and maybe could be used in some future DIYs. Again, I can't explain my thinking. I just get these ideas sometimes. So, I do. I also got the adhesive fix-all cement glue. Uh, yeah, I like this stuff. I find it works pretty well, so I got more. And there is some new computer paper at Dollar Tree. I held back from buying every single new one there was. I just ended up buying these two. This one has the popsicles. And this one has the palm leaves with the black stripes. I've seen some people haul the one with the little ice cream cones at the bottom. I was hoping to get that one, but uh, no. So that's okay. I got that. I got another one of these metal sun decorations for some sort of project. And I picked up some more of these pink plates while they are available. They're, they're selling out of all the summer stuff. There's barely anything left. So I got some more of these uh, just for future projects. Also to use in my, my room here for all sorts of things for storing, for, you know, holding stuff 
together. Now in the children's crafts, I picked up these little paint palettes. I had seen them and then I, I came home and I thought I should buy these. Uh, they might make some interesting, <coughs> interesting uh, molds or bases. So I I got some I got them this time and you get six of these they're very thin plastic Mickey Mouse type palettes and the troll ones also come in a six pack and there is like a, a like a diamond or a, a gem. So I thought there was probably some DIY I could use these for. I just thought they'd be really cute, so that's why I wanted to get them. I've got some of the smoothies for my boys. I have to go put these in the freezer. And now for the fun, more fun crafty stuff. There were some new, this was new at my store, chenille garlands. So basically like pipe cleaner, but like in a long bit, long, very long bit. So get a really long pipe cleaner but in that long strand like rope garland thing so I got this one which is the silver one let's see if it says how much there is on here uh, oh yeah it says here there's 9.8 feet there's almost 10 feet of this pipe cleaner type garland chenille garland and yes this is a multi craft import it's the crafty kids line so there's silver, and I got red. I think there's black also. Yes, I got black. So uh, I just thought there would probably be some crafting possibilities with these. Maybe I could wrap them around stuff to make things pretty. I'm not really sure, but I got them. I, I'm no help today. I know that I know that when I was in the store and I saw these items, I was like, oh yeah, I could do this with that. But right now I don't remember what all my ideas were. Okay. They had some rolls of fabric. There's new a Dollar Tree. Isn't that fun? OMG, some pieces of fabric for only a buck if you're in the US. A dollar twenty-five, of course, in Canada. Um uh, but yeah, look at that. Oh, and by the way, my to my dear US viewers, have no fear. When I say I pay a dollar twenty-five for Dollar Tree items, it's because I live in Canada. And in Canada, when we show up at the store, our sign says everything's a dollar twenty-five or less. We just pay twenty-five cents more, probably because Dollar Tree is a greedy corporation like all of them and they use the the fact that there's an exchange rate and the Canadian dollar is is not always at par with the American dollar and so they take advantage of that and charge us 25 extra cents. That's it. This is not to to say that there's going to be an increase in your stores in the US. I have no idea how it works, but it's just that we pay $1.25 in Canada, while in the US you still pay a dollar. So we can get these sheets of fabric. These are Crafter Square Craft Fabrics. Uh, they measure 20 by 21 inches. They are 100% cotton. And what else can I tell you about this? Uh, yeah, it's a Greenbrier uh, import, so yeah, I, I think this is in the U.S. as well. So, so I got this one. I got I got two of each that was at the store. This one with the like little cupcakes. This one has stars. I have this red one. It has a like a a splotchy design of red on red. Uh, I love this polka dots, bright polka dots. This pink one's very pretty too. And is that it? Oh, there's also this one. It's got this like mm, minty color with unicorns and rainbows. 
So uh, with 20 by 21, uh, this is great for quilting, of course. Uh, and yeah, there's, you know, be great for small projects. There's also a flamingo one. Sorry, I forgot to show that one. And that's it. That's it for this Dollar Tree haul that I wanted to share with you. And I do have another one uh, to share that I actually did earlier. I did before. But I don't know where the bag is right now. Okay, so <laughs> if I, I see scattered today, I, I do feel scattered. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you... Uh, are inspired to get your craft on by seeing all the goodies that we can get inexpensively at Dollar Tree. So uh, until next time, please uh, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Please like, comment, share, and until next time, stay crafty. Bye!